I'm with a delighted principal. I've got that right, haven't I? You have, Becky. I'm very well, delighted. Um, tell me, from the college's point of view, how are you feeling this morning as the principal? Uh, fantastic. Being at Clarendon Sixth Farm College this morning, we've had a continued 100% pass rate on our A-level subjects, so we're absolutely delighted for our students and the staff as well. Staff have worked really hard with them to make sure they get those top grades. We've managed to maintain our um, really fantastic level of high grades, so those top grades at universities want the A star, the A's and B's. Um, so yeah, over the moon, over the moon. I didn't sleep last night, but I'm sure I'll sleep tonight. I was going to, I was going to say actually, because for you, it's, for the students, you can understand them. That yeah. They put so much into it, but this is it. This is the end of the road for them and the start of a new journey. But for you, this must be something you have to go through annually, and yeah. it must be awful the build up to you because. You're not just looking after one person, you're looking after yeah, hundreds. Yeah, many hundreds. And I think I live in Thameside and I know that many of these young people in today who are getting results, I know the parents. And even if I don't know the parents, those parents of those young people who come to us entrust us to do their do a good job with their son or daughter. So there's a lot of pressure uh, in making sure that they do get great results and that actually our job is to make sure they can get onto the next stage so that might be university it might be an apprenticeship they might be doing a gap year but that that is ultimately our, our job here we've got them for two years only usually but so. you got you got to love them in that time as well don't you yeah we do we do and i'm delighted and we know we know them so you know when jake came in this morning to pick his results up he's got into cambridge to do natural sciences you know people were teaching staff were like shedding a tear for him you know we were just delighted yeah. Some amazing success stories as well. Yeah, all the way out uh, yeah I think of a couple of them. Jake's going to Cambridge to do um, natural sciences. We've got Laura and Kimberley are off to Birmingham and um, Newcastle to study medicine, so very exciting. First time medics as well in their family. So uh, that's great, the Tameside girls from Tameside schools. Um, we've got people, Callum's going to King's College to do maths with finance and management. You, Shan, who I know you've just spoken to, um, got amazing results, A star, A star in maths and further maths and another A. And he's off to Edinburgh to do mathematics, really, really talented young man. Um, he's come from Alder High School. Uh, we've got students off to the University of Manchester. Um, I've mentioned King's College, they're going all over the country, some are staying closer to home and we're lucky that we've got some fantastic universities close by as well and of course if you stay at home with the bank of mum and dad you can save a fortune in your accommodation. <laughs> but also going off to do some great degrees so we've got you know, your what I would call your traditional degrees like mathematics, uh, history, law, but also doing some things like um, business and finance, criminology, electrical engineering, electronic engineering. Um, we've got a student going off to Future Works to study independent filmmaking at degree level. I wish I was going with them. It brings it back to it. Gives me gives me goose pimples thinking about where they're going. Yeah. But you're more than that, aren't you? Because you're about creating a whole child here, aren't you? Yeah, and, definitely. And, or the whole student. Yeah. It, it, mm. Turning them from being young, young should dare I say, young people into young adults. Yeah, you, absolutely, and that's definitely. What you're about. Yeah, and we do a lot of community-based work, so we get people to be come involved in the local community to support local community causes because that is what being an adult's all about. It's about giving back as much as it is taking from your education. So, yeah, we're, we're lucky that we're. We're working with delightful young people here at Clarendon Six. So, looking forward to our new class of 2020, who will be coming in on the 23rd, I think, on, G on GCSE Results Day. So, we're looking forward to meeting them as well next week. So, and yeah. how how do you relax now? Tonight, I think I'll have a large glass of wine um, and get ready for GCSE results next week. Yeah, and definitely an early night for me. Yeah. And, and planning, I mean, we've got 85 vacancies currently for apprenticeships at the college. So, and they're with local employers from Tameside, Stockport, Manchester, down in Spinning Field. So it's about making sure every young person who's had results today and next week gets a positive destination.